Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Pampa Metals Corp, Paul Gill. How are you doing today, Paul? Fantastic. Thanks, Rich. Always a pleasure. Excited to have you on the show. Paul, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Pampa Metals Corp? Absolutely, Rich. Um, I've been involved in mining for about uh, 17 years and uh, really active in South America for the 2000s. And then I uh, ended up going into Quebec, but I've always had a real affinity for um, Chile and South America and the, and the things that are produced there, the copper and, and et cetera. And so um, what we wanted to do was really get back into uh, that field. And Pampa was an ex- incredible opportunity that uh, presented itself uh, to me. I only became aware of this company the last little bit. It was just a, um, a startup uh, about a year ago. And uh, after watching it for a while, I decided to jump right in. Fantastic. Very excited to learn more about your company. And can you tell us what are some of the milestones Pampa Metals Corp Inc. has set for 2022, which shareholders can look forward to? Absolutely. What Pampa is setting up for right now is to do a a massive drilling campaign that will identify um, and uh, define some of the targets that we've uh, we've seen from the 2021 campaign. So we spent four and a half million dollars to identify 32 targets over the eight projects that we own. And now we're going to go back and uh, drill the most interesting 10 of them. And that will take a a good long uh, period of time. But uh, the drills will be turning uh, on on, uh, several projects this year. In fact, two have already started. A third is uh, on the way. And all of those are about discoveries. We want to make a discovery. And that means drilling deep and drilling with diamond drill with core holes to be able to um, uh, to identify where these pro free deposits uh, are on the projects. Paul, can you tell us about the management at Pampa Metals Corp, especially their past success in the public markets? Yes, uh, Pampa Metals Corp has a brought together a group of directors and management that are really unparalleled in uh, South America. Um, the group of people that we have, Adrian Manger, who's the chairman, Timothy Beal, who's the COO, and uh, Yanis DeSotis and Julian Babin uh, and Gurdip Baines have had years and years of experience in, in public markets and in developing copper projects. And in fact, uh, they know exactly what to look for uh, on a copper project in this particular area. This is their expertise. So it's fabulous being uh, in business with them. Now, the company recently announced Pampa Metals reports IP chargeability anomalies from the Cerro Chiquitin target at Cerro Buenas Aires and plans further drill testing of shallow and deep porphyry targets. Can you go through this for us and what it means? Yeah, absolutely. When you first explore for for any kind of material underground and there's a, a layer of material above it that is obscuring what values uh, and valuables that are underneath or, or min- minerals that are underneath, you need to have different data sets in order to understand what's going on. So you, um, instead of just dr- drilling without uh, having some information, you want to be able to do uh, magnetic re- uh, resonance and IP chargeability, which will then give you a target area. And uh, chargeability is basically how conductive Uh, the material is deep underground. So if you have very conductive material, you have a good chance of having gold or silver or copper 
uh, there. And so what we've seen on Cerro Buenos Aires in the Cerro Chicotine area is an area, several areas of very uh, good conductivity. And that gives us drill targets and drill targets gives us opportunities to find uh, and, and make a discovery of copper and gold and silver. We love when companies are able to discover precious metals. Can you also tell us about Block 4 Discovery and what it means for the company? Yeah, Block 4 is a completely new area that we've started exploring in. And um, we found an area that's a, a day site porphyry. A porphyry is, um, is an area um, in which lava has uh, come up from underground and, and uh, basically altered um, some of the rocks around it. And there's examples of that on block four. And so one of the examples is that there is uh, samples of rock that we've taken that have stock work veining, indicating the, the host rock has been fractured and mineralized material has come up through that. So if you can imagine that a porphyry is like a tree underground of, uh, and the trunk of it is where most of the minerals are, but way at the top, there's leaves and branches. Well, we've discovered some of the leaves in that system. So now we wanna drill down at block four and find the core of it and see where it is and how big it is. And we, we feel it's going to be very significant and uh, we're very excited about getting that drilled. That sounds super exciting. Paul, if Pampa Metals Corp were to compare itself to its competitors in the sector, which is a very competitive sector right now with metals doing quite well, what would you say sets you guys apart? Well, I think right now with the amount of land package we have, 62,000 hectares, which is immense, uh, it's huge. Um, we have that as a value add uh, in the future. So we have a lot of growth ahead of us. Many of our uh, competitors in this particular area don't have the expertise, don't or don't have the land, or don't have the ability to develop like we have. Um, we have the management, we have the land capability, and uh, we're in the right jurisdiction. Uh, that's what makes this uh, a great package. And in addition to all that, we're at the right price. I mean, we are undervalued compared to many of the groups in our sector, and we can only add value by making discoveries. You're speaking our language here at Rich TV Live, we love to identify companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. We're also very fundamental traders. We like to understand the share structure. So can you go through the capital structure of Pampa Metals Corp for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional investment alongside more retail investors? Yeah, the natural progression in these type of companies, once it uh, begins its IPO and, and development process is that we want to attract retail investors. Um, retail investors are the most important investors because they're long-term and they believe in the company. And with that base, um, uh, we've attracted uh, enough to, to do development. We currently have 46 million, uh, 47 million shares out um, fully diluted about uh, 60 million, but uh, many of the warrants that are issued are higher up and, and most of the financings have been done higher up. So this is an opportunity for retail investors to get in before many of the institutions really recognize us. So we're pre-discovery, which means uh, we have an opportunity to buy something uh, with, a, with a speculative potential of getting uh, a big discovery happen. And once that happens, um, there's going to be a lot of attention on the company. It's happened before in many, uh, many other companies. So that discovery is going to be very important. And uh, we're making sure that it happens because we have enough targets. We have 32 targets. That's a lot of areas in which to explore and find things. And so we may not hit it on number one or two or three of those targets, but we're definitely going to hit, it with, hit something within the top 10. Paul, if there was one thing you'd want shareholders to know and future shareholders to know about Pampa Metals Corp today, what would that be? Well, I think it's perfect, a uh, perfect storm, right? Um, I, as, as an investor, looked at this company and I invested um, over $300,000, $400,000 before joining uh, the board. I think it's a company that uh, has got a lot of future. It's in the right sector copper and mining in Chile. 
where there's elephant deposits, massive, huge deposits, Escondida, which is about 110 kilometers away from our block four, produces, is one of the biggest mines in, in the world that produces $15 million of net profit per day. I mean, it's, wow. it's amazing how much wealth can come from these particular um, projects. So right, cop, right uh, sector, right location, and copper itself is going up in price. It's it's doubled uh, in the last few years and um, is at uh, trading at 450 or 460. So, and the growth profile looks like it's going to keep doubling with electric vehicles coming and electrification of our uh, of our lives and and copper being used in almost everything we touch daily. We're going to need more of it, and the best place to find it is where they produce it already, and that's Chile. In addition to all that. We've got the management and we've got a share structure that is really designed for retail investors to come in and uh, and definitely make an increase uh, in their ROI. I agree with you. We love companies that are under 100 million shares. You guys are under 50 million shares, fully diluted, 60 million shares. That's a great tight share structure, like you mentioned. That's exactly, you're speaking our language. That's what we look for here at Rich TV Live companies with tight share structures that are growing companies that have a chance to become potentially a major or maybe even a potential takeover target. Now, for the people that are interested in learning more about Pampa Metals Corp, what is the best way for those investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions? Yeah, you can send us a note at info at Lamico, or sorry, info at Pampa Metals. Dot com. Um, you can take a look at our website and fill out the contact page at www.hampametals.com. And, and definitely uh, contact uh, your broker or uh, other retail investors to, to share information with them or get information from them. Um, you know, we have a, a real good uh, attitude about uh, where we're going in this particular company. We know what we have, we know what we can be, but we do need funds in order to, to get there. And that's where, you know, supporting the company in, uh, in the markets and uh, contacting us to, to participate in any financings, that helps us get to where we want to go and that helps you get to where you want to go, which is uh, richer and wealthier, hopefully. Thank you for joining us today. I am interviewing the CEO of Pampa Metals Corp, Paul Gill. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe this is a company that has a nice tight share structure and is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Please put your attention in Canada to the symbol PM and in America, PMMCF. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO of Pampa Metals Corp, Paul Gill. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Rich. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with the CEO of Pampa Metals Corp, Paul Gill, saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.